Welcome to Mystic Realms Recap. Please like, share, and subscribe. Enjoy today's episode. Compared to the gains, offending the Goblin Clan is nothing at all. Even if the Goblin Tribe is not destroyed, these professionals who have descended on the floating island are hostile to the local forces, including the Goblin Clan. Therefore, Lin Yu is not at all intimidated by hostility. He is now completely immersed in great joy. One blueprint for the fence and one blueprint for the warehouse. Three blueprints for the arrow tower and an astonishing five blueprints for the wooden house. In addition, I also obtained a silver level stronghold treasure chest. I've really hit the jackpot. At this moment, the smile on Lin Yu's face cannot be suppressed. I finally got the blueprint for the fence. Now I can build the fence and upgrade my territory to a middle level village, unlocking the ability to summon the four winged angel. If there are rewards for the first territory upgrade, they will be mine. The blueprint for the warehouse is also a good thing. I already have a warehouse building, but I can easily sell it. Lin Yu said with a smile, those top experts and alliance leaders, aren't they all rushing to upgrade their territories and receive rewards from the floating island? However, the trading platform only has blueprints for fences and arrow towers. There are no warehouse blueprints with lower drop rates for sale. If I put this warehouse blueprint on the trading platform, I can probably sell it for an est- In addition, I also got the wooden house blueprints. I just don't know how many wooden houses I can build with five blueprints. Some blueprints can be used multiple times. For example, the arrow tower blueprint. One arrow tower blueprint can be used three times to build three arrow towers. Lin Yu believes that the basic blueprint for the wooden house can also be reused, and the number of uses may be even more than the arrow tower blueprint. Lastly, and most importantly, the silver level stronghold treasure chest. This is the first time Lin Yu has heard of a stronghold treasure chest. Even on the Blue Stars professional forum, no one has ever leaked information about the stronghold treasure chest. Could it be? The stronghold treasure chest is also a new thing on the floating island? It's not impossible. After all, the world announcement is a new feature unlocked by the floating island, right? A year ago, the first batch of veteran professionals who descended on other floating islands never enjoyed the treatment of the world announcement. There were no world announcements for the first occupation of a local force stronghold, the first territory upgrade, or anything else. At most, there were just default rewards of glory points and reputation points. So it is highly likely that the stronghold treasure chest is also an item introduced by the floating island. I just don't know what's inside the stronghold treasure chest. Lin Yu is full of anticipation for opening the treasure chest. But he can't open it now. Because whether it's blueprints or treasure chests, they all dropped when the goblin tribe was destroyed. They are still in the goblin tribe and need to be brought back by Aida and the others. After thinking for a moment, Lin Yu communicates with Myriad Worlds Floating Island. He asks for information about the Stronghold Treasure Chest. Soon, he receives a reply from Myriad Worlds Floating Island. Stronghold Treasure Chest, rare items, can only be obtained when destroying a local force stronghold. The levels of Stronghold Treasure Chests range from bronze, silver, gold, diamond, crystal, god level, to super god level. The stronger the destroyed stronghold force, the higher the level of the treasure chest obtained. The items in the chest appear randomly, including but not limited to gold coins, basic resources, blueprints, equipment, crop seeds, and so on. The higher the level of the chest, the higher the value of the randomly appearing items. The highest level, super god level stronghold treasure chest, I wonder how powerful a local force needs to be destroyed to obtain this level of chest? Could it be a local kingdom? In addition, there are actually bronze level stronghold treasure chests. In other words, the goblin tribe is not the weakest among all the local forces. There are local forces weaker than the goblin tribe. Otherwise, I would have received a bronze treasure chest instead of a silver one. Without thinking any further. The task at hand for Linyu now was to wait for the Angel Squad to bring back the spoils of war to their territory. At that time, they could proceed with upgrading the territory, putting up warehouse blueprints, or opening stronghold treasure chests one by one. Just at this moment, 
The Myriad Worlds Floating Island sent another message notification. The message content was simple, informing Lin Yu that the equipment he had listed, the ghoul leather armor, had been successfully auctioned off with a final transaction price of 1,140 gold coins. Not bad. The price is twice that of other level 5 supreme grade equipment. It's beyond my expectations. Lin Yu's intuition did not fail him. This ghoul leather armor did indeed give him a pleasant surprise. In addition, the sword of the skeleton that was listed at the same time was also sold. The final transaction price was 270 gold coins. It was much cheaper compared to the ghoul leather armor. Overall, it was one level lower and just an ordinary piece of equipment without any special effects. On the other hand, although the ghoul leather armor was only a mere level 5 equipment, its special effect, disguise, was a god level skill at this stage. If used well, it could potentially skyrocket one's progress. That's why there were people willing to pay such a high price to acquire it. At the same time, the chat channel on the island became more lively. Many professionals were discussing the recently auctioned ghoul leather armor by Lin Yu. Some felt that the price was slightly high but worth it. Others thought that bidding such a high price for a level 5 equipment was simply insane. A level 5 equipment sold for over a thousand gold coins? Lin Yu is making a fortune. Combined with the gold coin rewards from the floating island, Lin Yu can summon dozens of apex level units again. It's terrifying. I still can't understand why so many people are fighting over a level 5 equipment. And they even bid such an astonishing price. I don't get it either. Are people just foolishly rich? Hey, don't expose your pitiful intelligence in the world. It's clearly stated in the ghoul leather armor's description that wearing it allows you to disguise as a ghoul, fooling undead creatures below level 5. Do you know what that means? It means that with the ghoul leather armor, you can go out hunting at night. As long as you're careful and don't encounter higher level undead monsters, your leveling speed will skyrocket. Compared to leveling up, what's a few gold coins? It's not like you're an overlord. Damn, is it really possible? Of course, otherwise, why would so many experts participate in the auction? It's because they see the value of its disguise skill, which can speed up their leveling. Damn, I used to think those bidders were crazy, but now I realize that I'm the foolish one. Oh no, why didn't I think of that? What's the use of thinking about it? Do you have that many gold coins? Can you compete with those experts? Young man, know your limits. This is not something you can handle. Time quickly passed, and it was already noon. The Angel Squad finally returned to their territory. There were a total of 58 two-winged angels, all back safely. In addition, there were over 500 goblin disciples who escorted a large amount of food, basic resources, various monster materials, metal materials, and so on. All of these things were confiscated from the goblin tribe. Just these spoils of war alone were enough to be considered a great harvest, not to mention the 300 newly recruited goblin disciples, as well as the rewards of blueprints, gold coins, and equipment. It was truly a case of getting rich through a war. Overlord, sir. After returning to the territory, Aida led the Angel Squad to pay their respects to Lin Yu and handed over the spoils of war to him. Gold coins, blueprints, equipment. Among them was the silver level stronghold treasure chest that Lin Yu had been eagerly anticipating, just like its name. The treasure chest is silver white. It is a rectangular prism, flat in shape, with a length of about 40 centimeters. It doesn't look big, and it's light when held in the arms. Shaking it hard a few times, no sound can be heard. It's as if there's nothing inside. However, items in the transcendent world cannot be viewed with normal thinking. A warehouse that looks only slightly larger than a wooden house can store a total of 100,000 units of various resources, clearly indicating that the space has been compressed. There must be a special space inside the treasure chest. Let's see how lucky I am. Lin Yu placed the treasure chest on the floor of the hall, took a deep breath, and rubbed his hands together, like a gambler at a gambling table. But then again, opening a treasure chest is a matter of luck. Floating Island said that the items inside the treasure chest appear randomly. If you're lucky, you might get something good. 
A silver level stronghold treasure chest is only one level higher than a bronze chest. Even if you're lucky, it's very difficult to get higher level items. Unless it's a gold chest or a diamond chest. But no matter what, this treasure chest is practically a freebie from Floating Island. It's equivalent to freeloading. I'll accept whatever comes out. Lin Yu first gave himself some psychological counseling to avoid having high expectations and being greatly disappointed. Then, he reached out his right hand towards the treasure chest. Just as he was about to touch the lock of the treasure chest, a virtual information prompt appeared in his field of vision. Do you want to open the current treasure chest? Yes, no. Seeing the prompt, Lin Yu was momentarily stunned. He thought he would have to forcefully break the lock of the treasure chest, but he didn't expect there to be this function. This is much more convenient. He immediately selected, yes. Suddenly, with a click, the lock of the treasure chest automatically unlocked. Then, the lid of the treasure chest slowly opened. Beams of golden light flew out of the chest and fell onto the floor of the hall. At the same time, a series of information prompts appeared in Lin Yu's mind. Congratulations, Lin Yu Overlord. You have successfully opened a silver level stronghold treasure chest. You have obtained 1,000 units of food, wood, stone, and iron or each. You have obtained a blueprint for a goblin unit. You have obtained a blueprint for a low-level equipment. You have obtained 300 gold coins. You have obtained a small bottle of primal energy. I actually got so many things. Resources, gold coins, blueprints, and even a small bottle of primal energy. Since there was no comparison, Lin Yu didn't know whether he had good luck or bad luck in opening these things. But that doesn't matter. What matters is that he is happy and satisfied. After opening a few more stronghold treasure chests in the future, I'll know whether this time was a stroke of luck or bad luck. Without thinking too much, Lin Yu immediately stored the total of 4,000 units of food and various basic resources into the warehouse of his territory. He also put away the 300 gold coins. What's left are two blueprints and a small bottle of primal energy. Primal energy is a necessity for the advancement of professions and units, often obtained as a reward from killing monsters. This small bottle of primal energy is equivalent to an experience bottle. Drinking it will increase experience. Among the items that can be exchanged with glory points, there is also primal energy. However, they are large bottles and the price is very high. Lin Yu's mere 100 glory points is not enough to exchange for them. I wonder how much experience this small bottle of primal energy can give me. Lin Yu looked at the small crystal bottle in his hand. Inside the bottle is some liquid, faintly revealing a golden light. At the same time, the information about the crystal bottle also appeared. Primal energy. Portion. Small. Quality. Low level. Usage condition. Only for use by low-level professionals. Introduction. It can help low-level professionals advance a complete level. However, as a low-quality primal energy, it is not suitable for middle-level professionals or professionals of higher levels. Only low-level professionals can use it. Isn't this tailor-made for me? Lin Yu was very happy. Last night, his level was promoted to level 3, but he was still in the stage of a low-level professional. Only when the level reaches level 4 can one be considered a middle-level professional. In other words, he could use this bottle of source energy to directly raise his level to level 4, achieving a complete level breakthrough. Similarly, angels cannot use it. Because the lowest level angels are level 5. Without hesitation, Lin Yu immediately unscrewed the cap of the crystal bottle and drank all the pale golden liquid inside. Soon, a huge energy erupted within Lin Yu's body. In the blink of an eye, it filled his entire body and forcefully transformed his body in a very domineering manner. This process was very painful. Lin Yu almost cried out in pain. But when he thought of Aida, Sally, and the other angels looking at him with reverence, he immediately clenched his teeth. He could call out at any time, but not now. The Lord of Holy Light also needed face. Time passed, and Lin Yu didn't know how long it had been. The pain in his body finally began to diminish until it disappeared completely. In that moment, Lin Yu felt like he had entered heaven, 
seeing the light of day again, feeling refreshed and elated. He opened his information template and took a look. Sure enough, his level had been promoted to level 4, early stage. Pain and pleasure. I hope I can have this opportunity to cross levels a hundred times. Lin Yu grinned widely, ignoring the sweat-soaked clothes on his body, and turned his gaze to the two blueprints that had been opened from the treasure chest. Goblin Unit Quantity Blueprint Level Middle Level Introduction After using this blueprint, you will obtain 300 goblin units, including goblin warriors, elite goblin warriors, and goblin champions. Equipment Blueprint Level Low Level Introduction this blueprint grants your territory's blacksmith workshop the ability to craft various low-level equipment up to level 3. At this moment, Lin Yu felt like the child of luck. He had obtained the blueprints for the blacksmith workshop and equipment. In addition, the Angel Squad had already found the three goblin blacksmiths described by Luin and brought them back to the territory. Everything was ready. Nothing was lacking. He could now immediately start mass-producing equipment. Although I can only craft low-level equipment, it is perfect for the current stage of combat professionals. Most combat professionals haven't even reached level 2, let alone level 3. When I put the equipment I mass-produce on the market, it will definitely be in high demand. The door to making money has opened for me. Lin Yu was in high spirits. With the money he earned, he could summon more angels. For him, today was definitely a bountiful harvest. Lord Overlord. This time, after capturing the Goblin Tribe, we obtained 76 gold coins, two pieces of equipment, and one blueprint. Apart from these, the rest is the resources stored by the Goblin Tribe. Over 10,380 units of food, 6,400 units of wood, 4,080 units of stone. The quantity of iron ore is the least, only over 1,500 units. Aida was reporting to Lin Yu about the other spoils of war. This did not include the building blueprints obtained from destroying the Goblin Tribe, as well as the items obtained from the Silver Level Stronghold Treasure Chest. In addition, there are the goblins from the tribe, except for a few that were killed, such as the Goblin Chieftain and a dozen high-level goblins, the majority of the goblins have surrendered and become your followers. You did well. Lin Yu nodded in appreciation. Only obtaining 76 gold coins was not much. After all, the Angel Squad didn't kill many goblins when capturing the Goblin Tribe. However, they returned with a full load of other resources. Especially the nearly 14,000 units of food, it was truly a bountiful harvest, enough for the goblin followers in the territory to eat for a long time. Bring me those two pieces of equipment and the blueprint. Lin Yu said to Aida. He learned from the kill notification that the blueprint was dropped by the Goblin Chieftain. This made him full of anticipation. After all, the Goblin Chieftain was a level 9 boss, so what it dropped must be good. Aida immediately handed over the two pieces of equipment and one blueprint that he was about to harvest to Lin Yi. Two pieces of equipment, one battle armor, and one long spear. Goblin Leader's Battle Armor Type Defense Equipment Defense Level Level 8 Durability, 100. Special Effect, Intimidation. Introduction, this equipment is crafted by a senior goblin blacksmith and can only be worn by goblin leaders. When worn by a professional, it possesses a certain level of intimidation towards ordinary goblins. Goblin Spear of Courage, Type, Attack Equipment. Damage Level, Level 7. Durability, 100. Special Effect, Aura of Courage. Introduction. The Spear of Courage is a masterpiece of a goblin blacksmith. It comes with an aura of courage, which can make even the most timid goblin fearless. Special reminder. Do not equip it until you have enough strength, otherwise you may die on the path of charge. Occupational Skill Blueprint. Fire Dragon Art. Type. Fire Elemental Magic. Level. High Level. Learning Requirement. None. Introduction. Don't overestimate yourself. This is a high-level fire elemental magic. Even if you learn it, you may not be able to successfully release it. Two pieces of equipment, one level 8 defense equipment, and one level 7 attack equipment. 
They are all supreme grade equipment with special effects. And there's also a high level magic skill blueprint. Lin Yu couldn't help but sigh again. This attack on the Goblin tribe is really a big harvest. No wonder on the professional forum of Blue Star, there are often professionals bragging about how much they earned after capturing a certain stronghold. Now that he has experienced it firsthand, Lin Yu must admit, this is not just boasting, but a fact. The strongholds of the local forces can indeed fulfill the dream of overnight wealth for professionals. He is now dripping with wealth. Looking at the entire floating island, there is definitely no professional who can be richer than him. Just the gold coins he currently has are almost 3,000. As for various basic resources, there are more than enough. In addition, there are blueprints, equipment. These gains are almost all related to capturing the goblin tribe. As usual, Lin Yu put the Goblin Leader's Battle Armor and Goblin Spear of Courage on the trading platform. The former is priced at 5,000 gold coins. The latter is priced at 3,000 gold coins. Both are at a clearance price. If no one buys them immediately, then an auction will be held at this time tomorrow. Lin Yu also didn't plan to sell these two pieces of equipment today because he wants to sell the warehouse blueprint later. In case all the rich people bid for these two pieces of equipment and there is no competition for the warehouse blueprint, then he will suffer a big loss. As for the occupational skill blueprint, Fire Dragon Art, Lin Yu plans to use it himself. The Fire Dragon Art is a high-level fire elemental magic, not only powerful but also has no learning restrictions. Even if you are not an elemental mage, you can learn it. Naturally, he doesn't want to sell it. Moreover, there is currently no professional who can afford it. The value of the Fire Dragon Art has already exceeded the combined value of the Goblin Leader's Battle Armor, the Spear of Courage, the Snake Armor, and the Ghoul Leather Armor. Selling it for less than 10,000 gold coins would be a loss. After all, this is a professional's high-level skill. Without hesitation, Lin Yu immediately chose to use the Fire Dragon Technique Blueprint. Instantly, the blueprint disappeared and transformed into countless golden lights that surged into Lin Yu's forehead. At the same time, Lin Yu's mind was filled with countless information about the fire dragon technique, and he quickly mastered this high-level elemental magic. Shall I give it a try? With a thought, Lin Yu unleashed the fire dragon technique. In an instant, energy surged within him, and the fire elemental magic in the world began to tremble. After a moment, a scorching flame emerged from the palm of his right hand. The flame quickly expanded, as if it was going to transform into a fire dragon. But at that moment, Lin Yu's body shook, his face turned pale, and the scorching flame in his palm instantly extinguished. Lord Overlord! Aida and Sally exclaimed. The two beautiful angels quickly approached, supporting Lin Yu from both sides. I'm fine. Lin Yu waved his hand and took a deep breath, trying to suppress the dissipating elemental energy within him. I was careless. I overestimated myself. Lin Yu said, the reminder from the floating island was correct. Even though I have mastered the fire dragon technique now, I still can't successfully unleash it because my level is too low. With a low level, there is less energy element within me. I can't support the powerful great demon rune that the fire dragon technique requires, nor can I gather enough fire elemental energy to condense a fire dragon. At least, I need to reach level 7 to successfully unleash it. Lin Yu summarized the main reasons for his failure. Having a low level is a disadvantage. Looking at Lin Yu, whose complexion gradually regained some color but still appeared somewhat pale, Aida couldn't help but say, Lord Overlord, you don't actually need to learn these things. No matter what you want to do, you can just give us orders. We angels are your most devout followers and will always follow you and serve you faithfully. That's different. Lin Yu smiled and said, You are you, and I am me. As a professional, I also hope to master powerful abilities. Moreover, perhaps I will return to the Blue Star soon. Before that, I must make myself stronger. Blue Star? Aida looked puzzled. Lin Yu said, Blue Star is an ordinary world, not part of the floating island. The majority of people there are ordinary humans, with only a few being professionals. However, even though the number of professionals is small, 
their levels are very high. Some have even reached the king level and transcendent level. Lin Yu thought of the beautiful Su Dabin Dao. Su Yi's level should be at the king level, or possibly even higher. She was one of the first summoned professionals and had spent a whole year developing on other floating islands. Even if she advanced to the transcendent level, Lin Yu wouldn't be surprised. Is Blue Star Lord Overlord's home planet? That's right. Lin Yu nodded. Seeing this, Aida, Sally, and the others' eyes lit up, and they quickly asked, Lord Overlord, can we accompany you to Blue Star? Upon hearing this, Lin Yu couldn't help but be taken aback. It seemed that he had never considered this question before. He thought for a moment and said, It's probably not possible. I have never heard of any overlord professional bringing their subordinates back to Blue Star. Seeing Aida and the others' disappointed expressions, Lin Yu comforted them. But nothing is absolute. It's possible that it's just because their strength hasn't reached that level yet. When your strength improves, perhaps you can go to Blue Star with me. Upon hearing this, hope once again ignited on the beautiful faces of the angels. For now, it might not be possible for them. But after becoming gods, it's hard to say. Perhaps by then, they really could accompany Lord Overlord to Blue Star. Meanwhile, Lin Yu privately communicated with the Myriad World's floating island. Instead of speculating, it would be better to seek answers directly from the floating island. Lin Yu has always known that professionals can bring back certain items from the floating island to Blue Star. For example, there have been overlord professionals who brought back spirit rice. They sold it at a high price to the wealthy on Blue Star, thus becoming rich overnight. Living in a villa, driving luxury cars, playing with beautiful women. There are also equipment, gold coins, and other items. During class, Lin Yu would occasionally see a red staff in the hands of Su Daban Dao, which was the equipment she brought back from the floating island. But I wonder if troops can be brought to Blue Star as well? Lin Yu didn't have to wait long. Soon, he received a reply from Myriad World's floating island. Transport troops to Blue Star. Overlord needs to pay a transportation fee of 5,000 gold coins for each troop. Only when the troops become eternal gods can they break the restriction and transmigrate between the two realms using their own divine power. So that's how it is. Lin Yu suddenly realized, no wonder I haven't heard of any overlord professionals bringing troops to Blue Star. The reason is that the transportation fee is too expensive. After all, only eternal gods can freely cross the boundaries. And with 5,000 gold coins for one transportation quota, I'm afraid no overlord professional would be willing to spend it. With this amount of gold coins, you can summon a hundred apex level troops. Therefore, unless there are extremely special circumstances, overlord professionals are unlikely to transport troops to Blue Star. Of course, Lin Yu thought there was another reason. That is, there were too few people in the first batch of randomly assigned overlord professions. Sudaban Dao said that out of the first batch of over a million professionals, there were only a little over a hundred overlord professionals, and they were scattered all over the world. Considering the overlord professionals who died, how many were left? With such a small number, naturally there is less information about overlord professionals that has been leaked. Perhaps there really are overlord professionals who have spent a high price to transport troops to Blue Star, but it just hasn't been leaked and made known to the general public. I also want to bring these angels back to Blue Star. But the problem is, I can't afford the transportation fee. Among all the professionals on the island, Lin Yu is considered the wealthiest. But he has never seen what it feels like to have 5,000 gold coins stacked together. I can only wait for the future. Lin Yu thought for a moment and asked Myriad Worlds Floating Island again, Can everything else be brought back to Blue Star except for troops? Only the personal belongings of professionals are allowed. Only personal belongings. That's strange. How did those overlord professionals bring spirit rice back to Blue Star? After all, it's impossible to bring just a little bit. It's at least hundreds or thousands of kilograms. How can that be considered personal belongings? It seemed like he thought of something. Lin Yu quickly communicated with Myriad Worlds floating island again. Is there a kind of professional equipment on the island that can hold a large number of items? Similar to the function of a base chest. Spatial equipment, 
It can hold a large number of items. Lin Yu suddenly realized that he was right. Spatial equipment is considered personal belongings. By storing spirit rice or other things in the spatial equipment, and then wearing the spatial equipment, can't you bypass the restrictions of the floating island? Decision made. The next goal is to obtain spatial equipment. Lin Yu is very interested in this magical equipment that only exists in novels. Moreover, with spatial equipment, storing items is also very convenient. For example, in the war with the goblin tribe this time, if Aida had spatial equipment, she could store the resources she captured in the spatial equipment and directly bring them back to her territory without the need for laborious transportation. Slow and prone to accidents. Then, Lin Yu consolidated all the remaining gains, excluding food, as well as basic resources such as wood, stone, and iron ore. Total gold coins, 2,786, 1,000 plus 1,140 plus 270 plus 300 plus 76 is equal to 2,786. 12 blueprints, including 3 arrow tower blueprints, 5 wooden house blueprints, 1 warehouse blueprint, 1 fence blueprint, 1 goblin troop quantity blueprint, and 1 low-level equipment blueprint. New Goblin Disciples, 385. Among them, one is a level 8 goblin commander, two are level 7 goblin warriors, and there are less than 100 goblin soldiers. A spectacular profit. Lin Yu took out the warehouse blueprint first, preparing to list it on the island's trading platform. I am now selling the warehouse blueprint. Other professionals will definitely speculate that I have already built a warehouse. Otherwise, they wouldn't sell such a valuable blueprint. In that case, those professionals who want to be the first to upgrade their territory probably won't bid a high price because they know they can't be faster than me. I need to come up with a plan. Lin Yu pondered for a moment. He thought he could find a professional to help him auction the warehouse blueprint. This way, his name wouldn't be displayed in the transaction information and no one would know that the warehouse blueprint came from him. There is a candidate, the professional who exchanged the blacksmith shop blueprint for the fine steel sword with him before. As long as a contract is signed, there shouldn't be any problems. At most, after the auction ends, he can give that professional a red envelope as a token of gratitude. This is a backup plan. First, ask Myriad World's floating island if it's possible to hide the owner's information of the items. If it's possible, there's no need to find that professional. Thinking of this, Lin Yu once again communicated with Myriad Worlds Floating Island to inquire about the relevant information. Myriad Worlds Floating Island didn't find him troublesome and quickly replied to him. If the owner of the item is willing, it can be hidden. It's like protecting personal privacy. From this, it can be seen that Myriad Worlds Floating Island is very flexible and not rigid. It's best if it can be hidden. Lin Yu listed the warehouse blueprint on the island's trading platform and hid his information. After hiding, the owner column in the transaction section appeared as a series of. However, this can only be hidden until the auction ends. The reason is simple. I want to upgrade the territory at the moment the auction ends. If I upgrade too early, in case there's a world announcement, the warehouse blueprint won't sell for a high price. If I upgrade too late, the rewards might be snatched away by other bidders. But no matter what, others will guess that I'm the one who put the warehouse blueprint up for auction, otherwise the timing wouldn't be so coincidental. So, it can only be hidden temporarily. But it doesn't matter, I'm not afraid of being targeted. Even less afraid of being resented. I just need to time it well and maximize the value of the warehouse blueprint. The auction time for the warehouse blueprint is one hour. It's enough time for Lin Yu to do what he needs to do. And it's also enough time for those overlord experts to gather more gold coins. Without thinking too much, Lin Yu took out the Goblin Troop Quantity Blueprint and chose to use it. As the blueprint turned into countless golden lights and disappeared, a large group of goblins suddenly appeared on the nearby territory square. These goblins summoned by the blueprint were all fully armed. In terms of momentum, they clearly surpassed the goblin disciples in the territory. Praise the overlord. We are willing to pledge our loyalty to the overlord and die for him. 
Three hundred elite goblins knelt down on the ground and looked at Lin Yu with fanatical eyes. If Lin Yu were to order them to die now, they wouldn't hesitate. The other goblin disciples who witnessed this scene were dumbfounded. They couldn't believe that the great overlord could summon a fully armed goblin army out of thin air. Could this be the legendary miracle? Summon 300 elite goblins with a minimum level of four. They were fully armed, high-spirited, and even released a powerful fighting intent, much stronger than the goblin believers in the territory. After all, they were elite goblins summoned using blueprints. There is a big difference compared to the native intelligent creatures like goblin believers. 300 elite goblins. Among them, there are 200 level 4 goblin warriors, 80 level 5 elite goblin warriors, and 20 level 6 goblin warriors. This is a very strong team. They can go hunting alone without following the angel squad. So far, Lin Yu has had about a thousand goblins under his command. Among them, more than 700 are goblin believers. Among these goblin believers, there are more than 400 ordinary goblins, and the remaining 300 goblin believers are elite goblins. Among them, the most powerful one is the surrendered level 8 goblin commander. Lin Yu doesn't know his name yet because he hasn't had a chance to meet him. Lin Yu plans to form two goblin teams for hunting. One is a team of goblin believers led by the level 8 goblin commander, with a quantity of 200 selected by merit. The other is the fully equipped goblin troops in front of him. In addition, there is the angel squad led by Aida. In this way, he has three hunting teams. The harvest of hunting will inevitably increase exponentially, including his level. Currently, Lin Yu is at the early stage of level four, undoubtedly the number one on the island. After all, most of the professionals are still at level one at this stage, and only a few have reached level two. After today, the number of level 2 professionals will increase, but it is still far from Lin Yu, who is a level 4 professional. However, Lin Yu feels that it is not enough. He needs to level up faster. He must reach level 7 when he returns to Blue Star. Because after becoming a level 7 professional, he can release high level fire magic, fire dragon art, further enhancing his combat power. The remaining few hundred ordinary goblin believers. Some will be assigned to logistics work for the three teams. The rest will stay in the territory and decompose the monster corpses. That's decided. Lin Yu turned to Aida and said, Later, I will upgrade the territory. You don't need to stay here either. Go out hunting as usual and improve your level. Yes, Lord Overlord. Aida quickly complied. Then, she led a group of beautiful two winged angels and left the territory. Immediately afterwards, Lin Yu gave the order for the goblins to go hunting. Soon, the two fully armed goblin teams rushed out of the territory and headed to the forest in a different direction from the angel squad. During this period, Lin Yu summoned the level 8 goblin commander. He learned that his name is Bard. He is a distant relative of the goblin chieftain Beryl who has already been killed. However, under the blessing of faith and becoming a fanatical believer, the goblin commander Bard has no resentment towards Lin Yu. On the contrary, he is extremely grateful to Lin Yu for redeeming the goblin tribe. The previous goblin tribe was in a state of extreme confusion and had no future. It was faith that guided the goblin tribe towards the light. And it was Lin Yu, the great lord of holy light, who brought hope to their tribe. When facing Lin Yu, the goblin commander Bard showed utmost respect, kneeling before him like a humble servant. This is reverence for a god. Bard. You have the courage to correct your mistakes and turn back from the wrong path. I believe you will become a very promising goblin. Your future will definitely surpass that of the goblin chieftain. Work hard and move forward. The future of the goblin tribe is in your hands. Lin Yu's words gave the goblin commander Bard strong belief and the motivation to move forward. He had never felt so hopeful and expectant about the future as he did today. After bidding farewell to the great lord of holy light, the goblin commander bard raised his head high, proudly leading a group of goblin believers and went out hunting. In this way, within the territory, only Lin Yu and a few ordinary goblins remained. He thought for a moment and took out the blacksmith blueprint. Previously, Lin Yu had never used this building blueprint. 
It was because there was no blacksmith in the territory. So even if the blacksmith shop was built, equipment could not be crafted. Now, there was a blacksmith and equipment blueprints. The construction of the blacksmith shop was naturally urgent. Lin Yu walked around the territory and found a suitable location to build the blacksmith shop. As the blueprint turned into countless golden lights and disappeared, a virtual image of a building slowly appeared in the empty area ahead. After a moment, the virtual image became solid. A small building with a chimney appeared in Lin Yu's field of vision. Territory building, blacksmith shop, level, low level, number of blacksmiths, three to five, daily production of equipment, 50 to 100, next level, middle level, upgrade requirements, 500 units of wood, 300 units of stone, 1,000 units of iron ore. Note, the probability of the low-level blacksmith shop crafting supreme-grade equipment is 1%. Upgrading the blacksmith shop can increase the probability of supreme-grade equipment appearing. Looking at the information note of the blacksmith shop, Lin Yu immediately wanted to upgrade the blacksmith shop. He was not lacking in basic resources now. He could easily upgrade the blacksmith shop to middle level, thereby increasing the probability of supreme grade equipment appearing. Compared to ordinary equipment, supreme grade equipment was more valuable. Upgrading was very useful. But when Lin Yu saw that the number of number of blacksmiths was 3 to 5, he immediately withdrew the idea of upgrading the blacksmith shop. The number of blacksmiths that could be equipped, 3 to 5. The meaning was clear a minimum of three blacksmiths were needed and a maximum of five blacksmiths. Lin Yu's territory only had three blacksmiths in total, barely enough to maintain the operation of this low-level blacksmith shop. But if it was upgraded to middle level, it was possible that the minimum required number of blacksmiths could reach five or even more. He didn't have enough blacksmiths. By then, he might even have to close the blacksmith shop directly. It's better to be stable. Lin Yu beckoned to the three goblin blacksmiths who had been waiting nearby. One was an old goblin named Devin, and two younger goblins. The old goblin was a middle-level blacksmith, and when crafting equipment, the probability of supreme-grade equipment appearing increased by 3%. The two young goblins were low-level blacksmiths, without an increase in the probability of supreme-grade equipment. Lord Overlord The three goblin blacksmiths knelt before Lin Yu, both fearful and excited. Lin Yu nodded slightly and said to Devin, Devin, from now on, this blacksmith shop will be entrusted to you. You can use the monster materials and metal materials in the territory warehouse. Crafting equipment is your main task. The secondary task is to select some smarter goblins and cultivate more blacksmiths for our territory. Do you understand? I understand, Lord Overlord. I will do my best to cultivate blacksmiths for you. Devin, the old goblin, said solemnly. Very well, you may rise. As he spoke, Lin Yu took out the low-level equipment blueprint and chose to use it. In this way, the blacksmith shop unlocked the ability to craft low-level equipment. The low-level equipment unlocked by the blueprint was equipment for all races and professions. Before this, the old goblin could only craft goblin equipment, but now it was different. He could craft various low-level equipment suitable for all races in the blacksmith shop. This was the function of the equipment blueprint. Then, Lin Yu took out the fence blueprint. Once the fence was built, he could upgrade the territory and simultaneously unlock the ability to summon four-winged angels. Now, he had nearly 3,000 gold coins in reserve. This was prepared for summoning the four-winged angels. Territory construction blueprint. Type. Fence. Usage. One time. Construction requirements. 500 units of wood, 200 units of stone, 100 units of iron ore. Special reminder, the fence is an essential building for the territory, providing basic defense protection. As the blueprint turned into countless golden lights and disappeared, a circle of wooden fences appeared around Lin Yu's territory, surrounding the entire territory. The only thing not enclosed by the fence was the spirit field. The spirit field was located outside the territory. However, there was no need to worry about the safety of the spirit field. Lin Yu asked, Myriad Worlds Floating Island, 
and learned that as long as the territory was not captured, the spirit field would be invincible. The fence is made up of individual square locks. It is only a little over one meter in height. It seems very fragile and can be easily pushed over. But this is just appearance. Because this is a floating island world enveloped by the power of rules. The defense durability of the low-level fence is 300 points. Before the durability reaches zero, no matter how powerful a creature is, it cannot rush into Lin Yu's territory. This is the rule. After building the fence, Lin Yu opened the information panel of the territory and took a look. The prosperity, prerequisite buildings, and required resources, all three conditions have been met. He can now upgrade the territory at any time. However, he has to wait. He has to wait until the auction of the warehouse blueprint reaches its final moments before he can upgrade the territory. Otherwise, he won't be able to maximize the value of the warehouse blueprint. He opened the island trading platform. On the platform, the item he listed, the warehouse blueprint, is at the top of the auction. The auction has been going on for more than 20 minutes, and the bidding price for the warehouse blueprint, with a starting price of 1,000 gold coins, has already soared to 1,700 gold coins. Soon, it will surpass the price of a level 7 supreme grade equipment, snake scale armor, unless something unexpected happens. After the auction ends, this warehouse blueprint will refresh the highest transaction price on the trading platform. His gaze turned to the island chat channel beside him. At this moment, the island chat channel is still bustling. However, the topic of discussion among the professionals has shifted from the world announcement to the warehouse blueprint, anonymously sold by Lin Yu. No need to discuss anymore. I can be 100% sure that the warehouse blueprint is listed by Lin Yu. But if it's listed by the great Lin Yu, why did he choose to be anonymous? What else could it be? Of course, to get a higher price for the warehouse blueprint, why were the prices of the fence blueprint and the arrow tower blueprint able to rise continuously before? It's because many overlord professionals wanted to be the first to upgrade their territories. With the world announcement and the reward of the floating island, it's a guaranteed profit. But now, Lin Yu has listed the warehouse blueprint. It means he already has the warehouse building. Even if someone takes away the warehouse blueprint, no one can be faster than him. The first person to upgrade the territory will undoubtedly be Lin Yu. Knowing that they can't compete, why are those territory professionals still willing to spend a high price to fight for the warehouse blueprint? So, to avoid this kind of situation, Lin Yu chose to be anonymous letting those overlord professionals with a lucky mentality fight for it. If my prediction is correct, the Goblin Commander Battle Armor, the Spear of Courage that has been listed, and the Warehouse Blueprint are all the spoils of Lin Yu capturing the Goblin Tribe. The analysis of the brother upstairs is very reasonable. Agreed plus one. Smart people still exist. After a series of analysis, Lin Yu's plan became clear. However, even so, it still couldn't stop the continuously skyrocketing bidding price for the warehouse blueprint. Just like that professional said, there are always some overlord professionals who have a lucky mentality. What if this warehouse blueprint is not sold by Lin Yu? Instead, it comes from an extremely lucky combat professional. The reason for being anonymous is simply not wanting to be famous or not wanting to cause trouble. After all, those who have the capital to participate in the auction of the warehouse blueprint are mostly top-notch professionals, and the vast majority are overlords at the level of alliance leaders, including the leader of the Hall of Kings. Exposing the information, it's hard to guarantee that it won't be threatened or targeted to the point of eventually becoming enemies. That's why the seller chose to remain anonymous. That's what those bidders are thinking, including Golden Behemoth Overlord who is also competing for the warehouse blueprint. He doesn't believe that Lin Yu's luck could be this good. The drop rate for the warehouse blueprint is pitifully low, and many professionals on the island haven't obtained it. On the other hand, Lin Yu has already obtained one and now a second one. How is this possible? It doesn't make sense for Lin Yu to encounter all the good things. So, he must compete for it and not let the warehouse blueprint fall into the hands of other overlord professionals Otherwise, his first overlord plan will completely fail. By then, 
Not only will he not be able to upgrade his territory, but he won't receive any rewards either. The fence blueprint and arrow tower blueprint that he bought at a high price before will also be a loss. Under the attention of countless professionals, the bidding price for the warehouse blueprint keeps rising. In less than half an hour, the bidding price has already surpassed 2,000 gold coins. But even so, it hasn't slowed down. It simply can't stop. It can be said that almost all the prominent overlord professionals on the island have participated in this bidding, especially those who have formed alliances, not a single one is absent. Although they all know that the warehouse blueprint most likely comes from Linyu, but they still don't want to give up. Everyone wants to take a chance. After all, what if it's not from Linyu? Then they would be the first to upgrade their territory and get the rewards of the floating island. The last 10 minutes. The price of the warehouse blueprint has risen to 2,500 gold coins. In the last five minutes, the price breaks through the 3,000 gold coin mark. Such a sky-high price has shocked the entire island's chat channel, but it still hasn't ended. The closer it gets to the end, the more intense the bidding process becomes. Some overlord professionals have to regretfully withdraw because they don't have enough gold coins. But those who stay have gone crazy. For example, Golden Behemoth Overlord is urgently borrowing gold coins in the Alliance channel of the Hall of Kings. Leader, don't borrow any more gold coins. Lin Yu is cunning, this is clearly his trap. Yes, leader, be rational. Spending so many gold coins to buy a warehouse blueprint is simply not worth it. With over 3,000 gold coins, you could recruit 60 or 70 golden behemoths. In the Alliance channel, Many members are persuading Golden Behemoth Overlord, but he doesn't listen at all. He has already invested a lot of gold coins to become the first Overlord. Now, at the critical moment, how could he retreat? Even if he has to owe money everywhere, he must get the warehouse blueprint. With only two or three minutes left until the auction ends, Lin Yu hasn't made any moves, which means the warehouse blueprint has nothing to do with him. I must give it my all and not let any other overlord professional get the warehouse blueprint. Brothers, lend me your gold coins. Let me become the first overlord, receive the world announcement, and lead the Hall of Kings to a more glorious era. The Alliance members are extremely speechless about this pretentious leader. The leader doesn't listen to advice, leaving them with no way to help. In the end, many Alliance members still stepped forward and lent a considerable amount of gold coins to Golden Behemoth Overlord. After all, it's a loan with a contract, and they're not afraid of Golden Behemoth Overlord defaulting. Moreover, the interest is high. Regardless of who the warehouse blueprint ends up with, these creditors will make a profit. This time, let's see who can compete with me. With the gold coins in hand, Golden Behemoth Overlord's confidence rises. He directly raises the bidding price for the warehouse blueprint from over 3,300 to a solid 3,500 gold coins. With his hands in his pockets, he doesn't know what it means to have an opponent. In the final bidding showdown, he will rampage. Soon, there were only 20 seconds left in the auction for the warehouse blueprint. Almost no one continued to bid. Even the golden behemoth overlord did not bid again. Because... After more than 10 rounds of chaotic bidding, he had raised the bidding price to a terrifying 4,800 gold coins, driving away all competitors. This was also his limit. Even if it went higher, he couldn't produce more gold coins. But he believed that others were the same. If nothing unexpected happened, the warehouse blueprint would soon be in his hands. In reality, many people thought he was crazy to spend 4,800 gold coins to bid for a warehouse blueprint, and he himself felt a bit crazy. After all, with this amount of gold coins, he could recruit a total of 96 golden behemoths. Just thinking about this made his heart ache. If it weren't for the first territory upgrade and the reward of obtaining the floating island, he would never have done such a foolish thing. A mere warehouse blueprint, how could it compare to a team of golden behemoths? At this moment, the Golden Behemoth Overlord had already closed the trading platform. He was closely monitoring the situation on the Island Chat Channel. He wasn't looking at what the professionals in the chat channel were talking about, but rather paying attention to whether there were any changes in the E-World announcement, 
pinned at the top of the chat channel. The warehouse blueprint was almost in his grasp. No one could compete with him. The reason he was paying attention to the world announcement was to see if there were any new world announcements, such as congratulations to Lin Yu for becoming the first overlord professional to upgrade his territory. He silently prayed that such a thing would not happen. Otherwise, he would be at a huge loss. He would lose everything, down to his last pair of underwear. It seemed that his prayers had worked. Until the end of the auction, when the warehouse blueprint fell into his hands, there was still no change in the world announcement on the island chat channel. From beginning to end, it was the world announcement congratulating Lin Yu for capturing the goblin tribe. Ha ha ha. My speculation was correct. I knew that not everything good would fall into Lin Yu's lap. This time it's finally my turn. My name will shine at the top of the chat channel, admired and revered by countless professionals. My fame will instantly surpass Lin Yu and be remembered by every professional. The golden behemoth overlord was ecstatic. He immediately left the island chat channel and contacted Myriad World's floating island. Hurry up and upgrade my territory. Soon. A reply came from Myriad World's floating island. The current territory lacks a warehouse building and does not meet the upgrade requirements. Damn it. The young-looking golden behemoth overlord cursed in anger. But he could only quickly find a place to build the warehouse first. The rules of the floating island were something he couldn't challenge. However, the golden behemoth overlord did not know that shortly after he left the island chat channel. The world announcement he had been following suddenly changed. It was a new world announcement belonging to Lin Yu. Almost at the same time, the entire island chat channel erupted. The alliance chat channel of the Hall of Kings also erupted. Damn, it's Lin Yu again. The person who became the first to upgrade the territory actually got a world announcement, and it really is Lin Yu. I knew the guild leader was fooled. That warehouse blueprint was clearly a trap set by Lin Yu for all overlord professionals, causing a large number of overlord professionals to fall into it. That's not entirely true. Although other overlord professionals fell into the trap, they eventually climbed out. Only our stupid alliance leader fell into the pit and became disabled. By the way, where is our alliance leader? Most likely hiding in the territory crying. That's not necessarily true. It's possible that the Alliance leader doesn't know that the world announcement has changed and is busy building warehouses and upgrading the territory. When the Alliance leader comes online and sees that the world announcement and rewards have been taken by Lin Yu, they might just faint. This idiotic Alliance leader is driving me crazy. I'm quitting the Alliance. I'm not in a hurry. I'll wait a bit longer. What are you waiting for? This stubborn and immature alliance leader will never be able to develop the alliance. Although Hall of Kings currently has over a hundred thousand people and the largest influence, it will eventually be destroyed by them. I know all of that. If you know, why are you still in this alliance? I have no choice. The alliance leader still owes me a few gold coins. On Lin Yu's side, he knew that even if the warehouse blueprint was taken by someone else, they wouldn't be able to upgrade their territory immediately. They needed to build the warehouse first. So, he wasn't in a rush. After the 4,800 gold coins from the auction fell into his pocket, he contacted Myriad World's floating island that he had already prepared. The upgrade went smoothly. No unexpected incidents occurred. He simply became the first overlord profession to upgrade their territory. After upgrading to a middle-level village, the territory's area expanded by nearly 10 times. There was a large amount of empty land. These empty lands could be used to build various types of buildings. In Lin Yu's hands, there were still three arrow tower blueprints and five wooden house blueprints, which he planned to use later. Especially the wooden house blueprints, they needed to be used first. Aside from his angel, the number of goblins in the territory had already exceeded 1,000. With so many goblins, they couldn't all camp in the open. And for that, they needed the wooden house blueprints to build wooden houses for the goblin residents. After the territory upgrade, aside from the expansion in size, the Hall of the Overlord also underwent some changes. The small building became taller and larger. 
The bedroom on the second floor also became more exquisite, no longer just a simple arrangement of a bed and two bedside tables. Of course, Lin Yu didn't take the time to appreciate his bedroom. Because at this moment, a message from Myriad Worlds Floating Island appeared in his mind. Congratulations, Overlord. Your territory has successfully upgraded to a middle-level village. You are one step closer to the unification of the floating island. Congratulations, Lin Yu Overlord. You are the first territory profession to upgrade, and in recognition of your outstanding performance, you are rewarded with 500 gold coins, 200 honor points, and 1,000 reputation points. Your name will shine in the island's chat channel, inspiring other island professions to move forward bravely. Another world announcement. Lin Yu was very happy. He had already received two world announcements today. If there was one word to describe his fame on the island, it would definitely be renowned and well-known. Any island profession would not be unfamiliar with him. All knew his name. However, Lin Yu didn't care about all of that. He felt that he wasn't that shallow of a person. Thinking of this, Lin Yu hummed a few times and walked straight into the newly renovated hall of the Overlord. The wooden house blueprints and arrow tower blueprints could be used later. Right now, he couldn't wait to summon his four-winged angel. Compared to before, the upgraded hall of the Overlord finally had a hint of grandeur. The four pillars in the hall had become eight. Each pillar was carved with various patterns, resembling some kind of mysterious magical runes. Lin Yu opened the exclusive unit summoning information for the Hall of the Overlord. Sure enough, the summoning permission for the four-winged angel was unlocked. Recruitment requirements dash. Two-winged angel, 50 gold coins, recruitable. Four-winged angel, 200 gold coins, recruitable. Six-winged angel, 1,000 gold coins, unlocked at high-level village. Eight-winged angel, 5,000 gold coins, unlocked at town-level territory. Ten-winged angel, four-winged angel, 200 gold coins each. It's four times more expensive than the two-winged angel. The amount of gold coins needed to summon one four-winged angel is enough to summon four two-winged angels. Of course, you can't measure it by quantity. After all, the four-winged angel has a higher position than the two-winged angel. Without a doubt, whether it's the initial level, combat power, or growth potential, the four-winged angel surpasses the two-winged angel. It's definitely more expensive for a reason. Without much thought, Lin Yu calculated his gold coin reserves. Previously, he had a total of 2,786 gold coins. Afterwards, he obtained 4,800 gold coins from auctioning a warehouse blueprint. In addition, he received 500 gold coins as a reward for the first upgraded territory and the floating island. The total was 8,086 gold coins. This was an astonishing number. It could be said that no professional on the island had more gold coins than Lin Yu, even the apex level professionals who had formed alliances. 8,086 gold coins. I can summon 44 winged angels. If it were two winged angels, I could summon 161. Lin Yu took a deep breath. So far, he only had a total of 58 two winged angels under his command. It could be imagined what it meant to summon over 162 winged angels at once. But this time, I want to summon the four winged angel. Without hesitation, he immediately communicated with the myriad worlds floating island and prepared to summon. But right after his thoughts were transmitted, he suddenly received a message from the myriad worlds floating island. The overlord needs to summon higher level angels according to the angel combat team's ratio. For every 52 winged angels under the Overlord's command, one four winged angel can be summoned. A standard sized angel combat team consists of 52 winged angels led by one four winged angel. For every 500 two winged angels, 10 angel combat teams, one six winged angel can be summoned to form a standard sized small angel legion. For every 5,000 two winged angels, 10 small angel legions, one eight-winged angel can be summoned to form a standard-sized medium angel legion. For every 50,000 two-winged angels, 10 medium angel legions, one ten-winged angel can be summoned to form a standard-sized large angel legion. And so on. 
After reading the message sent by the myriad worlds floating island, Lin Yu couldn't help but widen his eyes. If he continued to summon angels according to this ratio, wouldn't he have hundreds of thousands of angels under his command by the time he could summon a twelve-winged angel? Why can't I directly summon higher-level angels? Upon receiving Lin Yu's thoughts, the myriad world's floating island immediately replied. A territory can not only have high-ranking individuals, it also needs a large number of grassroots residents. This is the foundation for a territory's long-term development and eternal inheritance. The same goes for a legion. If there is a legion commander, there naturally needs to be grassroots soldiers. The overlord should not underestimate the two-winged angel. Every race's unit has the ability to evolve on its own. The only difference lies in the level of evolutionary talent. Angels are a unique type of unit with extremely powerful evolutionary talents. In fact, the vast majority of high-ranking celestial beings are evolved from the weakest two-winged angels. Two-winged angels under the Overlord's command can also evolve into high-ranking celestial beings. Upon hearing the explanation of the myriad worlds floating island, Lin Yu had only one thought in his mind. That is to summon two-winged angels to save money. Summoning a four-winged angel requires 200 gold coins. Summoning a two-winged angel only requires 50 gold coins. If a two-winged angel under his command evolves into a four-winged angel, it would be equivalent to saving him 150 gold coins. And if it evolves into a six-winged angel, even more gold coins would be saved. Is there no limit to summoning two-winged angels? There are no restrictions. The Overlord can summon an unlimited number of two-winged angels. However, please remember that evolution is a gradual process. A territory still needs strong individuals to oversee its growth and development. Understood. Just now, Lin Yu almost gave up the idea of summoning a four-winged angel and wanted to use all the gold coins in his hand to summon two-winged angels. After all, as long as one-tenth of the two-winged angels achieve evolution, he would make a huge profit. However, the reminder from the myriad worlds floating island also made sense. Who knows when the two-winged angel he summons will be able to evolve. Therefore, the most reliable method is to follow the angel combat team ratio provided by the myriad worlds floating island to summon angels of various grades. In this way, under his command, there would be both high-ranking celestial beings and a large number of two-winged angels to achieve evolution. Let me calculate. A standard-sized angel combat team consists of one four-winged angel and 52-winged angels. That means, summoning an angel combat team requires consuming 2,700 gold coins. I currently have 8,086 gold coins, so I can only summon two standard-sized, but still considered fully equipped, angel combat teams. Yes, Lin Yu Overlord. After summoning, you will have 2,686 gold coins left. You are only 14 gold coins short of being able to summon three fully equipped angel combat teams. Looking at the information prompt that appeared in his mind, Lin Yu rolled his eyes. He can do this simple math. No need for special reminders. Then let's summon two angel combat teams first. With the remaining 2,686 gold coins, I will summon one four-winged angel and 49 two-winged angels respectively. In this way, he would only have 36 gold coins left in his hand. It can be considered a clean use. Soon, a black hole appeared in the Hall of the Overlord. Just like the previous summoning, Lin Yu had a feeling that the black hole had undergone some changes. The black hole seemed to have turned into an eye. Behind it, there was something peering at him. However, this feeling did not last long, because soon, beautiful figures flew out of the black hole. Leading them were the three four-winged angels summoned this time. Each one was stunningly beautiful, with fair and flawless skin. If they were to be described, they had the face of an angel and the figure of a devil incredibly beautiful. In terms of attire, two of the four-winged angels were wearing equipment sets similar to the two-winged angels. Uniform silver battle armor. Holding a sword of golden flames. The difference was that they had two pairs of snow-white angel wings on their backs, which was the symbol of being a four-winged angel. In terms of aura, they were stronger than the two-winged angels. 
As for the third four-winged angel, she was wearing a white magic gown and no longer held a sword of the angels, but a staff made of white jade. Lin Yu was curious. Why was this four-winged angel different? He immediately opened the information template of the three four-winged angels for comparison. Four-winged angel. Initial level. Level 7. Growth potential. Demigod peak. Combat skills. Holy cross sword. Holy light slash. Radiant triple slash. Shield of holy light. Angelic sacred flame. Introduction. The four-winged angel belongs to the orthodox faction of the angel race. Under the command of the twelve-winged throne angel. They are the most skilled warriors in the angel race, excelling in charging into battle with unwavering willpower and unwavering faith. This information template belongs to the four-winged angel who wields the angelic swords. Initial level, level 7. Growth potential, demigod peak. The template information is exactly the same, but it is indeed stronger than the two-winged angel. It is worth noting that they belong to the twelve-winged throne angel. If they can break through to four wings, they can become the six-winged angel of strength. Four-winged grand angel. Initial level. Level 7. Growth potential. Demigod peak. Combat skills. Holy light magic. Holy light imprisonment. Divine faith magic. Introduction. The four-winged grand angel belongs to the orthodox faction of the angel race. Under the command of the twelve-winged wisdom angel. They are the four-winged grand angel who possesses special abilities and excels in spreading faith for the gods. This template belongs to the four-winged angel who wears a platinum-colored magic robe and wields a staff, also at an initial level of seven. Growth potential, demigod peak. However, unlike the other two four-winged angels, she excels in divine faith magic and belongs to the command of the twelve-winged wisdom angel. Her name is the four-winged grand angel. Truly unique. Soon, all the angels descended. At a glance, the hall of the overlord was filled with beautiful angels. The entire space was filled with divine radiance. Greetings, Lord Overlord. May the Holy Lord be eternal, and may the Holy Light be ever-present. Led by the three four-winged angels, over a hundred angels bowed to Lin Yu. Their expressions and gazes were filled with infinite reverence and fervent faith towards Lin Yu. Lin Yu is the Lord of Holy Light. To the angels, Lin Yu is everything to them. No matter what Lin Yu asks them to do, they will not hesitate. Serving the Lord of Holy Light is their duty. Lin Yu nodded slightly. Then, he ordered all the two winged angels to retreat. The space in the Hall of the Overlord was still too small and having over a hundred angels gathered here would be very crowded. He only left the three four-winged angels. First, Lin Yu looked at the four-winged grand angel wearing a platinum-colored magic robe and asked, Are the angel race divided into different factions? Yes, Lord Overlord. The four-winged grand angel held her staff, emitting a soft holy light. Facing Lin Yu, she slightly lowered her beautiful fair cheek and respectfully said, Among our angel race. The largest number belongs to the Orthodox faction, while the other angels are special angels with fewer numbers. For example, the Angel of Love, War Angel, Fate Angel, Paradise Angel, and so on. In addition, the Orthodox faction of angels is also divided into three camps. Commander-level angels led by the Twelve-Winged Seraphim, under which there are Angel Lords and Dominion Angels. Divine Art-level angels led by the Twelve-Winged Wisdom Angel under which there are Seeker Angels and Grand Angels. War-level angels led by the Twelve-Winged Throne Angel, under which there are Angel of Strength and War Angels, Ordinary Two-Winged Angels. Although the functions of the three camps are different, we all belong to the Orthodox Angel Faction and can form a well-functioning Angel Legion when combined. After hearing the explanation from the Four-Winged Grand Angel, Lin Yu gained a better understanding of the Angel Race. Then. He curiously asked, Are there any higher-ranking angels above the twelve-winged angel? Yes. Four-winged grand angel respectfully said, There are also fourteen-winged angels, who are usually the commanders of multiple legions. Additionally, there are sixteen-winged archangels, and the highest-ranking eighteen-winged grand archangels. Lin Yu took a deep breath. The words of the four-winged grand angel 
had truly broadened his horizons. The most terrifying thing is, the initial level of a four-winged angel is already at level seven, with the potential to grow into a demigod peak. Without a doubt, the growth potential of a six-winged angel would definitely be at the true god level. Because the higher the rank of the angel, the higher their initial level and growth potential. So, what level of initial level and growth potential does the highest ranking 18-winged Grand Archangel possess? It wouldn't be surprising if their initial level was already at the true god level upon summoning. They would be born as eternal gods. Just thinking about it is terrifying. It's no wonder that the myriad world's floating island considers angels as a unique type of troops. Compared to other races' troops, there is simply no comparison to the law manifestation of angels. After pondering for a moment, Lin Yu gave names to the three four-winged angels. The two four-winged angels, under the command of the twelve-winged throne angel, who excel in charging into battle were named Maureen and Merelda, respectively. As for the four-winged grand angel who excels in divine arts, she was named Elena. Praise the Lord Overlord. Thank you for bestowing us with names. May you be eternal and immortal. The three beautiful angels were extremely excited. Being bestowed with names by the Lord of Holy Light was a great honor for them. Among the more than 100 two-winged angels summoned alongside them, not a single one received the Lord's bestowed name. Lin Yu nodded slightly and said to the two four-winged angels, Maureen, Merelda, each of you will lead a fully equipped angel combat team and go to the wilderness to hunt. Elena. Then, his gaze fell on the four-winged grand angel. You currently have 49 two-winged angels under your command. When Aida's team returns in the evening, choose one two-winged angel from them and form a fully equipped squad. I will obey your divine oracle, my lord. Elena complied, her voice incredibly gentle and ethereal, soothing the hearts of those who heard it. She held an angelic staff made of white jade. At the top of the divine arts, a holy radiance emanated, enveloping her perfectly sculpted figure. Compared to the other two four-winged angels, her temperament appeared softer and more divine. Of course, in terms of beauty, the three angels were equally stunning. They just had slightly different temperaments. Go. Lead your teams and go to the wilderness. Lin Yu said, hunting the evil monsters in the outside world can increase your levels. I hope you can grow faster, but it's not just about levels. If you can evolve and become six-winged angels of strength, seeker angels with six wings, that would be the happiest thing for me. We will obey, Lord Overlord. The three beautiful angels said in unison, we will do our best to break through the limitations of our ranks and grow into six-winged angels, not disappointing Lord Overlord. Very well. A smile appeared on Lin Yu's face. Soon, Elena and the other two flew away with more than 100 two-winged angels. They split into three teams. Two fully equipped teams and one nearly fully equipped team. They headed towards different directions in the forest. With this, Lin Yu now had six teams hunting in the outside world. Four angel combat teams and two goblin teams. This was an extremely terrifying matter. Once this news spread and was known by the professionals on the island, countless professionals would likely be stunned and filled with shock. Especially those overlord professionals who intended to compete for the position of island lord. They would probably feel deep despair in the blink of an eye. The number of angels under my command has exceeded 200. Led by Aida and Sally, the angel combat team has a total of 58 angels. And this time, Lin Yu summoned three four-winged angels and 149 two-winged angels, totaling 152 angels. All these angels combined. The total number is exactly 210. Lin Yu felt delighted in his heart and muttered to himself, at this rate of expansion, I believe it won't be long before the number of angels under my command reaches 1,000. This is not impossible. Although the expensive warehouse blueprint was an accident. But now, his blacksmith shop has started operating. Every day, batches of equipment are being crafted. He can sell these equipment to obtain a large amount of gold coins, which can then be used to summon angels. So, surpassing 1,000 angels is not a distant dream. It is a goal that can be achieved quickly. 
The rapid increase in the number of angels, as well as the expansion of the two goblin teams, means that my level will also increase rapidly. Once he reaches level 7, he can master the high-level magic, dragon fire technique. Without thinking too much about it, Lin Yu opened the information panel after upgrading his territory. Territory. Level. Middle level village. Overlord. Lin Yu. Territory buildings. Hall of the Overlord. Wooden house. Warehouse. Arrow tower. Fence. Blacksmith shop. Spirit field level. Level 1. Prosperity. 1395. Next level. High level village. Upgrade conditions dash. Condition 1. Prosperity reaches 1000. Completed. Condition 2. Possess blacksmith shop, watchtower, and 10 middle level buildings. Condition 3. 5000 units of wood, 5000 units of stone, 5000 units of iron ore. The requirement for prosperity, I have already met. The difficulty of obtaining basic resources is not high, and I will be able to gather them quickly. I already have the blacksmith shop. For me, having 10 middle level buildings is also simple. The slightly more difficult part is the watchtower. I need to find a way to obtain a watchtower blueprint. No rush, take it slow. Tomorrow, I will conquer the Grey Dwarf tribe, followed by the Two-Headed Demon tribe. I believe that after capturing these two tribes, I should be able to obtain the watchtower blueprint. Lin Yu's mentality was very relaxed. Compared to other overlords on the island, he was already far ahead. Coupled with the growing Angel Legion and the two goblin teams with a total number of 500, his power would undoubtedly grow like a snowball, becoming larger and larger. Enough to leave those overlords far behind. After obtaining the Watchtower Blueprint, I will continue to upgrade the territory. And once the territory is upgraded to a high-level village, I will unlock the ability to summon six-winged angels. Unless there are unexpected circumstances, the growth potential of six-winged angels must have reached the true god level. After all, four-winged angels are already at the demigod peak. By then, I will have a god level unit under my command. Two-winged angels and four-winged angels are not considered god level units. Because their growth potential is demigod and demigod peak, respectively. But six-winged angels, with a growth potential of true god, can truly be called a god-level unit. Outside the Hall of the Overlord, Lin Yu suddenly felt a wave of worship and fanaticism in the eyes of the ordinary goblin believers. These gazes came from those low-powered goblins who were unable to go out hunting and stayed in the territory to do logistics work. Lin Yu did not pretend to be arrogant or indifferent like a god. He was quite kind and smiled slightly nodding towards the goblin believers who gathered in the distance, not daring to speak loudly. For him, this was just a simple gesture. But for these goblin believers, his simple gesture was already the greatest honor. Every goblin believer seemed to feel the attention and appreciation from the gods. In an instant, they all became extremely excited. They worked harder and more enthusiastically. This is the power of faith. Seeing this scene, Lin Yu couldn't help but sigh. Then, he took out the last three arrow tower blueprints and five wooden house blueprints. He had previously obtained one arrow tower blueprint. As for the wooden house blueprints, it was his first time acquiring them. Territory building blueprints. Type, wooden house. Number of uses, 10. Construction requirements, 100 units of wood, 50 units of stone. Special reminder. The wooden house is the basic building of the territory, but don't underestimate it. Without it, you may lose the trust of your subjects. An overlord who cannot provide basic living conditions for their subjects is not worthy of their loyalty. Looking at the information on the wooden house blueprints, Lin Yu couldn't help but mutter to himself, faith is a good thing. It can make the subjects remain loyal to me at all times, even if they have to live in the open for several days without a house. In the floating island world, there was no concept of loyalty. Both the troops and the indigenous intelligent beings were the same. If an overlord was unfriendly to their troops and indigenous subjects, betrayal was not impossible. Especially for the indigenous subjects who had joined voluntarily. They had their own positions and greater freedom. 
Compared to summoned troops, the attitude and loyalty of indigenous subjects towards the overlord were more easily influenced by the surrounding environment. If the environment was harsh and the overlord was cruel, betrayal was highly likely. Therefore, Lin Yu was fortunate. His angels were best at spreading faith. With the power of faith, the goblin believers in the territory remained extremely loyal to Lin Yu, even if they had to camp in the open for several days without a house. If it were another overlord, these indigenous goblins would probably have rebelled. To build a wooden house, 100 units of wood and 50 units of stone are required. The cost is relatively cheap. Lin Yu had five wooden house blueprints, and each blueprint could be used 10 times, which meant he could build a total of 50 wooden houses, consuming 5,000 units of wood and 2,500 units of stone. For Lin Yu, he could easily afford these resources. He opened the warehouse and looked at the reserves of various resources. Food, 28,364 units. Wood, 17,450 units. Stone, 12,000 units. Iron ore, 8,720 units. With so many basic resources, there is more than enough to build all the arrow towers and wooden houses. Without hesitation, Lin Yu immediately started construction. Soon, arrow towers and rows of wooden houses rose up in his territory. In return, the prosperity of the territory rapidly increased. At the same time, the alliance channel of the Hall of Kings exploded. The golden behemoth overlord who had paid a high price to win the warehouse blueprint finally logged in. But as soon as he logged in and saw the chat messages in the alliance channel, as well as the New World announcement, at the top of the island's chat channel, the golden behemoth overlord's mentality collapsed. Did he really fall for Lin Yu's trick? And that wasn't even the worst part. The worst part was, he had only emerged as the winner after the chaotic bidding and had snatched the warehouse blueprint at an astonishingly high price. But what was the result? He ended up falling into the pit dug by Lin Yu. In other words, he was the unique idiot who fell into the pit. And he jumped in himself. No matter who it happened to, their mentality would explode. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe.